Hi, this is Ray with Game Server Setup. Uh, today we're just going to be going over installing Insurgency on a 64-bit Ubuntu 0.04.2 um, system. For So if you want to install Insurgency Server and get that up and running, this is how you do it. Um, I had to restart the video, so I already did the first couple steps because um, we're missing these two from the guide. Um, my, we had a commenter, Mike, um, say he was having some issues. And after redoing this, because we did this on 14.04 or 13. 10 maybe um, in the beginning um, it worked fine but apparently we're missing some stuff here so I've, I found these after some troubleshooting it took me about 10 minutes to troubleshooting to figure out and we were missing those so um, go ahead and check out the written guide on the website below for the first couple steps I'll go over them real quick um, but um, step one and two are pretty standard and you should be doing that and I'll ha add these as well to it of course so let's go ahead and log in this is pretty much a clean system, except for the troubleshooting I did. All right. And then... Um, the one thing I did do is we already did the Steam step. So CD, Steam. You'll see we have a bunch of stuff already in there. And we already ran Steam once and logged in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it again, of course. Um, you know, and all the prereqs that you need are on the website. It's just uh, you need to update, install uh, the libs32z1, install screen, and install nano. As we, and you also need to install these two little bad boys to make everything run okay on a 64-bit system, which is what we're running. So next step, we needed to log in. All right, so let's go ahead and start Steam CMD. Checking, 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 log in. Oh, I'm sorry. And I'm going to move this over so you guys can't see. Sorry, sorry, almost done. I'm going to have to like, I don't know why it does it in clear text. Oh, I hope I have the right username as well. All right. All right. Now, no passwords for you guys. So now we're all logged in. Um, it should ask you for a Steam Guard code if you have that as uh, part of your uh, security settings in Steam, which I highly recommend. Otherwise, it's pretty easy to just brute force a lot of stuff. So do the Steam Guard code. helps out a lot. Um, next, we're going to have to go ahead and uh, set the directory. Uh, we'll just go ahead and set it for uh, the PIR. Actually, let me go ahead and create a new different directory. So I'm going to go back up out of this, and then we're going to go ahead and make PIR. We'll call this insurgency. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and go to Steam. See Steam. Start that Steam CMD again. Next little script. These should be cached now, so you, I don't really care if you know my username. You can add me if you want. Oh my god. Oh my god, Becky. Perfect. Everything's cached. Alright, so now we need to go ahead and force underscore DIR. Force install DIR. And we set it to home directory. Actually, it's forward slash and then insurgency, if I remember. Yep. All right, so now we set that. Actually, it should be. Oh, can't use up arrows in Steam CMD. Sorry about that. Force. What am I doing? That's a period. There. How do I switch? So make sure all capitalization and everything is correct or else it breaks. Because Linux is very picky about grammar and capitalization and all that fun stuff. App update 237410. And validate, and that will be 
our insurgency files. All right, and it's done. So now we can go ahead and move on to step five, six, where are we at? We are on step five. Well, actually four, but so we can go to exit steam. Uh, we just need a backup one LS and we should see the insurgency. Yep. Go in there and we should not see anything apparently. in here. The hell? Ah, uh, you know what I did? I did it right there. I did it right there. Ah, uh, man. Uh, hello. See, I was right before on the first time. It should have been the stupid colon. I'll change that in the guide. I don't know why I had that there in the first place. All right, so copy. Actually. And then we're going to go up one. Let's go like that. Make it insurgent. Make me pseudo this. Come on. Don't need pseudo. Oh. You know what I'm looking at? Look at that. So if we look above, right before we finish the download, it says, why didn't it drop down so much? I mean, digits. It looks really four two four six one nine eight eight zero zero. Hmm. All right. So what is going on? Yeah, you know, I don't really care. We're all just going in. So follow the written guide, not the period slash insurgency. Use the use the tilde. Instead, it just, ugh, I should have just trusted my gut in this. Whatever. I'm tired. All right. So now this is where we had some issues, apparently. Uh, um, I'm going to go ahead and create a startup script like it does in the guide to make this a little bit easier to start. So touch start.sh. And we should see that little script been created and start SSH. There we go. We're going to have to chmod it to make it executable. Now we should see it turn colors. Hey, it's green. And we're going to have to go in and edit it. And we'll add our code into it. So you can use VI or whatever. I like Nano. I know. I'm not the, I'm not the most amazing person. Sorry about that. Real Linux people love uh, VI. That's what I've been told. So we're going to start a screen section soon, and then INS is what we're going to call the session, anyways. And we're going to call it, and it's going to run our SRDCDS underscore Linux. This is where our, our mic had our problem. So we'll see if this is the case for us. And I don't know if he did it in the startup script like we're doing it, or if he just did it straight through the command line. Oh, this is starting ministry, the map. And you can change this to whatever you want. There's, uh, if you look at the example CFG that I have up in there, um, you'll see a bunch of different options. And I'll bring that over. So if you look at right here under example, you can change it to how maps you want it to go, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm just doing a quick startup script to see if it actually works. So, All 
Alright, Ministry. And then we're going to set the max players to, I don't know, 24? Let's say 24. Players, 24. And then IP. I'll just make it this IP. This I saw it. I didn't write it down. I'm pretty sure it's 23. 92.168.2.23. By the way, don't even bother trying to connect to this. This is only for my computer. Um, my internal network. I won't be able to see it from the your network or the internet. So sorry about that. And the port that it's going to be running on is 27015, which is the standard deal. Alright, let me double check all the writing. Normally I just copy and paste this, but it's a virtual machine and sometimes it's a pain in the ass. So let's go ahead and. Looks good. I'm going to go ahead and. Yeah, let's go ahead and save the changes. Yes, please. Right. Yes. Alright, so now we got our startup script ready. So now we should be able to start it. Ah. Everything. What? Oh, IP. 32. Oh, I was so close. Let's go back and nano that. Alright. Yeah, we'll save, start. Alright, so we're going to period start. Alright, so I found the IP, it's doing its thing, it's like, wow, power of our login anonymous game server account. Hey, don't be showing my public IP, it doesn't matter, I'll change it anyways. It's not static, it's dynamic. Back secure mode is activated. And we're done. Trying to see if there's any major errors. There's some, some minor stuff, but it's not going to actually hurt anything. Calling break the same system. There we go. Yeah, everything is fine. Cool. We are good. Done. Awesome. Uh, check out the guide on the, the website if you have any more questions. Um, you probably should go over the configuration utility. There's actually a little generator that I linked there to create your own easily generated uh, configuration guide for insurgency, which will save you tons of time than doing it manually, unless you're a pro at it, which is quite possible. So that is uh, that is how you started a Linux insurgency server. Um, and there you go. If you have any questions, uh, Write a comment on the website or on the video and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Thanks. Bye.